morning everybody from Castara Retreats. This is the first place I'm staying on the beautiful island of Tobago and this is actually one of the places I've been really looking forward to waking up. We are essentially staying in a tree house. There's a few different ones dotted around and we've got the most gorgeous view out onto the water so I woke up to the sound of the waves and there's all the little fishing boats down there, there's birds flying around. And my visit coincides with the Heritage Festival so I'm going to be spending the next few days learning about the culture, getting stuck in with some activities, meeting lots of people and I'm so excited to explore Tobago. Sunday morning and we have just driven to Pigeon Point because we are getting on a boat today. We're going out into the most turquoise water. It just looks incredible. And we're heading to Buku Reef, Nylon Pool and No Man's Land. And this is quite a popular set of destinations to head out to. So I'm pretty excited for some swimming. <laughs> So we have just arrived at Nylon Pool and there is a bit of a party going on. There's quite a few boats around, loads of people in the water, soca music, drinks. And it's a little bit overcast but it's still very pretty and very blue. So I'm going to go and get a drink and get into the water. It is the end of my first day in Tobago and it's been a really great day actually and we've just had a lovely swim in the water there's quite a few people on the beach playing volleyball some fishermen and now we've got a magnificent sunset as well now I'm gonna go get a shower have a few cocktails and then hopefully a very good sleep ready for tomorrow this morning I've come to do an activity which is called healing with horses so healing with horses is one by a lady called Veronica she's a German lady who moved to Tobago about 17 years ago married a local person here and now she runs this wonderful NGO and we just had a very nice experience where basically the horses came to choose us and this is King and King Pickney Gonna stay as deep as possible. So left rein short, and you could like go with this hand. We have come into the water, and the horses seem very happy in here. This is my first time riding in such deep water. I've ridden through quite low-level rivers before, but not like this. I have been very much looking forward to today because we have come out into Main Ridge Forest Reserve which is obviously a rainforest area, nearly a thousand acres. They describe it as the backbone of the island, home to a lot of flora and fauna and I am joined today by Newton George who is one of the top birders in the whole region absolutely fascinating guy we walked about a meter 
into Main Ridge and he was already pointing out these beautiful red crowned woodpeckers. So I know I'm going to enjoy this morning. All right, and it is the oldest protected rainforest in the Western Hemisphere. It was established in 1776 and this was done by the French. Well, I think the most sought after bird on this island is the mannequin. What you hear in calling there right now, we might see one down the road. The blue back mannequin, but you also have the chogans. Our hike was absolutely beautiful and Newton did a fantastic job helping us spot bird, plant and wildlife. He then even invited us back to his front porch where the feeders attract hundreds of beautiful hummingbirds every day. reached the beach then there was the christening of a fishing boat then everybody headed to the water to see the fishermen at work and the whole community came together to pull in the giant fishing net and then the catch was shared out and grilled up for everyone to eat it was a fantastic experience my final morning here in Tobago so I'm going to be spending the next few hours relaxing at Coco Reef which has its own private beach which is very lovely especially on a day like today and it's been the most brilliant week actually perfectly timed with the Heritage Festival so there has been so much to see and learn about and people to chat to 
and it's probably a bit of a cliche to say but Tobago definitely has something for every type of traveller really. If you're adventurous there's loads to do, if you're keen on birding and wildlife, obviously if you're a foodie like me as well and even if you're somebody that just enjoys relaxing then clearly Tobago is a great place to come and I would love to come back on another occasion.